Good morning, everybody. It's Evan Salinas with Hernandez & Associates. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you for joining us on a YouTube video. Thank you for the calls. Um, we are happy to help you with any questions that you may have. So, yes, we're wearing the same shirts again because we're back again. We got another video ready for you. So this one is going to be a little bit of a loaded video here we're gonna i don't know if we're gonna cut this into two pieces we may or may not i'm gonna explain to you here in just a second why this is a a, a two-piecer well there's questions that um are being asked uh you know q a regarding aims and uh we've been making you know putting out videos regarding the the new system that tabc is transitioning to which is called aims and we're trying to go over some of the questions that are being asked because it might be a question that you uh, were thinking about and um and this is really for people that already hold a permit um, for people that are applying we'll you know we'll go over um, what the new um, what they call structure in other words what that particular permit will be allowed to do uh, so for existing permittees they're asking because TABC cut you know eliminated uh, permits they consolidated them to the ones that they that were left over. So to to break that down uh, just a little bit there, we're talking about old structure, new structure, consolidated, lots of big words thrown <laughs> around here, right? Yes. What it was before that you were explaining just a second ago is that previously if you had a you had one particular permit and you wanted any of the ancillary permits, mm -hmm. any of the additional ancillary permits, mm -hmm. you'd have to apply for those and pay the fees. And pay yes. the fees for them so you would get your, you know, like, you know, the, the primary. your primary permit and then you would add whatever right. you wanted to it. Right. Well, TABC is finally getting wise to it's just better that they just combine them. So when you get one, you get everything mm -hmm. too. Does that make any sense? So instead of having to apply individually for the ones you want, they just come as a package now. So you're right. getting like packages, sort of, right. to speak. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the old structure and the new structure. That's what we're talking about here. Right. And they're saying when in the new uh, combinations that they're uh, giving out, do you lose some things or how is that going to work? And that's basically mm -hmm. what's going on here. Right. So you they're go gonna, ahead. Uh, if you already have an existing permit prior to uh, September 1st, and people are asking, okay, am I going to gain the permits that you are after September 1st, the ones that you are combining to my uh, primary permit, am I going to gain those? And the answer is yes. You know, if you had one primary permit for free before, yes, um, before September 1st, and um, then you don't need to do anything on September 1st. You will just gain whatever permits they're adding to your primary permit. And each one is different. So, you know, for example, the mixed beverage, it's going to gain the uh, allowed uh, or gain the caterers permit, for example, or and the temporary permit gaining those. Yes, if you already have an existing permit, um and it you know each one is different as to what they gained uh you won't have to pay anything additional you renewed prior to september 1st your primary permit after september 1st you don't have to pay anything additional you will just gain whatever permits they consolidated or um, uh, authority to whatever permits they uh, consolidate it to your primary permit. And they're all different. So, you know, uh, it's a long list of them now um, that, you know, combinations. Which but we can go over that if you give us a call. Let us know if uh, you would like for us to do a video basically reading off what the new combinations are mm -hmm. and maybe comparing them to what the old combinations or how you had to add them before. So that way, and that video would just be, you know, talking about what the new ones is, the new combinations are. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's all that, that would be said on that one. Yeah. And then we probably have to read them off to you from the charts because um there's a lot that are combined uh to the primary permits and i say a lot it's pretty much like four different types of um, authorities that it's giving you additional authorities that they're just giving you so it is a, a quite a it's about 47 40 about 47 permits and it used to be like 70 something so um so they really did a a job by adding you know uh, 
these other authorities of these other permits, if that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing, but we can explain it to you. We can email you the information if you're, you know, if this is a little confusing and it's better for you to, you know, look at it. Um, sometimes, you know, seeing it on, on paper or whatever helps a little bit. And um, so if you have any questions on that, we'll be happy to answer. Um, you know, as best as we can, as of right now, things could change between now and September, uh, September 1st. So just let us know how we can help you. If you have a TBC permit you're looking to apply for in the state of Texas, be sure to call us 713-514-4801. I'm Evan Salinas with Hernandez & Associates. And I'm Stella Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Uh, remember, uh, subscribe, like, comment, email us, call us. We're here working for you and trying to get you the uh, most updated information.